weathered. A brief look at our process. We're basically going to take you through showing you through the products used to create some of the color and this weathered look of what was already textured. That's a whole other video. Now, let's get into it. Okay, so what's happening here? This is sort of a continuation video of the gesso project. And I left these two with one coat, and this is the golden gesso. This is one coat of golden gesso. And I left this at the top because that's what color it was before I put that on. This here is two coats. So you can see it really, you know, it really does pay off. And I put two coats on the back also. And that, that makes a, a big difference, it really does. Now to dress this one. This is actually what it looked like when I finished the last time with one coat of the um, no, this was the art supply gesso the and white. then the white art supply gesso with the Dina Wakely uh, clear gesso over the top. I left this like this because I am not at all sure what happened here. Uh, well, I, what we do know. What we do know is that a lot of times her, the um, clear gesso will pull, pull colors through. Especially I, reds. Yeah, especially reds, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute on this one. But <clears throat> this was slightly tinged pink anyway. So I'm just saying uh, there could be three or four different reasons for it. And I'm not sure exactly, at this point I can't definitively say <laughs> that it was one thing or another because it actually could be a combination. This could be the result of Brusho's oh. uh, wafting. wafting because we have the fan on here and I have noticed that does happen. Now that doesn't explain what happened down here. I have no idea what that is. But anyway, it does cover, as you can see here, and I will go ahead and cover this with another coat of, of gesso so that I That's can- That's the golden. This is the golden. So I can get this to the point where I can actually finish the cover for the journal, which has <laughs> been around for, I don't know, well, at least weeks. Three, uh, three or four projects, because it's- uh... And I love this journal and I would like to get it out there, but anyway. So basically you can see where I'm pulling my color choices from. I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to at least replicate some of the colors within the journal. So it has some relationship to what's going on. I, I feel like that's a kind of a, a nice thing to happen. This is the Dina Wakely. And we do know from past experience that the brushos, it pulls that brushos right back out. And you can see the big blob of orange there. Excuse me. The orange, it, there's, yeah. Okay, so it pulled up and down. Now this is the Montmartre Clear. I really want to say Marty. Clear, <laughs> clear gesso, which comes in a bottle and it's not nearly as thick as the Dina Wakely. And I'm kind of thinking, you know, it spreads a lot quicker, so you don't have to do a lot of brushing, and I think maybe that's part of the issue. Mm, you have to work the surface more. You have to work the surface more so that you're getting those brush strokes and they're disturbing that layer of brushes. Now, the other thing is, this is the uh, U.S. Art Supply Gesso is underneath this one. So I want you to kind of, can you see the little shimmer there? It has a slight gloss to it for some we, odd reason. And that was true of, well, I mean, even their matte had the slight yes. gloss to it. And I, I'm not, I'm not sure, I don't hate it. And it obviously gets taken care of when you put the <laughs> clear gesso over the top. 
but sometimes I, I don't want that. So, you know, that's something to think about. Something to think about. Adding a little shine or no Add, shine. Adding a little, adding a little shine. Yeah, and I, it's only in the, it's interesting because it's only in the areas where you don't have a lot of the texture. Now, the texture, we have that in video form, don't we? Did we make a texture video? Yeah. Okay, so if you want to know how to make that, that that's on the website. You, you can find that. On the I'll, YouTube. Yeah, on, the, on the YouTubes. <laughs> it's on the YouTubes. It's on the YouTubes. We have a channel. Oh, we do. Yeah. And uh, I, I don't know that this one's out there. Um, not sort of. I think it has been sneak peeked in a, in a couple of videos just because it's been yeah. part of a few things. Okay, but the reason that I'm doing this cover for this is because I want it to open up. I don't want to exclude it so that you only see the one side. I want you to be able to see both sides. So I'm not closing the pages up like you would normally do in a, a folded. Right, like we did in the last one we did, like this. Yes. It was very similar in look. Yes, it was. I, I And we can, we'll drop the link to that one. It's just a folded book one that is more yeah. traditionally bound, sort of, by us. Yeah. Because we're still learning. Yeah. <laughs> It's a very unique binding. Um, I'm sure the. It was a lot of. Um, oh well. Hmm, how do I now, that? now what do we do? Now what do we do? <laughs> okay, but anyway, the reason I had to do this video is because I would really like to get this onto a cover, and and make it look wonderful so that I can show you what the finished work is going to look like. Now let me check my notes very quickly here. Um, I you know again here. I really, I kind of like this, and I think what my plan is, is I'm going to take that one and I'm going to make a strip here, take this one and make a strip here, so that we've got that kind of thing going on there, and it will kind of go with this. And then you're leaving it. And I might be leaving it. As you can see here, I'm going to jump into the overview. This is kind of taking you back in time. This is the piece the cover that P was just showing you that changed so dramatically there with the pink. This was her ap applying the Dina Wakely clear gesso and then this is when that pink stuff was pulling through. Um, I wanted to just show you some of this video um, rather than just showing you the end product. Um, I wasn't sure exactly how to jump that in so I thought better to have her explain it and then you can see here, look, you could already see some of the strange coloration happening. And now it has dried again, just showing these are the colors of the brushos um, and Ken Oliver's watercolor crystals that she would be using to create then what you see, what you saw earlier as far as the colored version or the Finished, partially finished. To see the full finished <laughs> version, I'll, I'll drop a link, and um, there'll be a, a link to the end of the at the end of the, the video to the to the flip through, so you can see what was finally finally done. Now, something to keep in mind here is. So this was the coloring of the cover pieces. They were both done very similarly, obviously with just a little bit of variation in color and, and that, but the technique was the same. And then once it was all fit, said and done, finished, colored, came back in with another coat of the Dina Wakely clear gesso because we liked that look, that more matte, dulled, weathered, because this is our weathered journal. If you guys are finding inspiration in this video, please do subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell. Um, we do these videos weekly. and We'd love to have you guys come around each week and see what we're doing. Comment below. We love to hear you guys' questions, thoughts,
one of the things that it, it is, it's a very kind of wait and see. Add a little bit, wait to see what happens. And pretty much that's the process. Now, before we finalize this, just wanted to show you the fast process through doing the back of the coat. Actually, this would be the front. You saw the back part. This is the same process as shown earlier. Just again, matching up color. Just all of that process once again. Thank you for being here today and subscribe, ding the bell, ding the bell. ask me questions. I, I, I will answer them if at all possible. I, I don't always know answers, but I will, shall endeavor to find them for you. Again, Thank stay you. tuned. Bye. Bye. As always, like this video. We'd love to hear from you in the comments. And if you haven't already, subscribed and click the bell. Thank you again.